Hi, my name is Dave Updegrove, State Representative from South King County. The 2010 legislative session is behind us and I'm happy to be back home here in the community where I was born and raised. My focus in Olympia this year was simple and it was this, jobs. In this short video, I'll give you an update on a few of the steps the legislature took this year to help create jobs and strengthen our economy here in the Highline area. In order to have good jobs and a strong economy, we need to keep South King County a great place to live. And that begins by protecting and restoring our crown jewel, Puget Sound. I'm pleased to announce that the State Department of Ecology recently awarded several grants to South King County cities, including SeaTac, Normandy Park, and right here in Des Moines, to help manage stormwater. That's the polluted runoff that runs into Puget Sound. The money will be used to help identify and pinpoint the sources of pollution right here in our community. A healthy, clean Puget Sound is vital to the economic health of our region. In other good news, funding for the cleanup of contaminated playground soils has been protected in the budget. For years, the oldest Sarco smelter in Tacoma spewed arsenic and other heavy metals into the air, much of which settled into the soils throughout the Pacific Northwest. Some of the highest levels of contaminants were found in the Normandy Park area. A couple years ago, I sponsored and passed a bill that cleaned up the soils in those areas that children were most susceptible. Playgrounds, playgrounds like this one here in Normandy Park. Continuing to fund this program is essential to keep our kids safe and our communities healthy. Within SeaTac Airport's runway protection zone are several athletic fields where Highline area children play Little League sports. For years, the Port of Seattle has leased the fields to the Little League organization at a discount rate. The state auditor recently questioned the low lease rate. Federal law already allows airport operators to make airport property available for public use at less than market value. So I sponsored a bill to line up our state law with the federal law. The measure passed overwhelmingly. This bill meant a lot to me personally because when I was growing up as a child, I actually played Little League on these very same ball fields. And I want future generations to have that same opportunity. Over the last decade, more than 14,000 South King County residents have been placed in good jobs through the Port Jobs Program. This nonprofit job placement and training program with an office here at SeaTac Airport provides a valuable resource here in our community. Port of Seattle, which runs SeaTac Airport, provides office space and direct financial support. Unfortunately, the state auditor recently questioned whether or not this is an appropriate function for the port to engage in. Port districts are allowed to engage in economic development activity, but a question was whether or not workforce development was included in that definition. That's why this year I introduced legislation which passed into law to clarify that port districts can support workforce development programs like this so that port jobs can continue to stay open and serving our community. In these tough economic times, it's more important than ever to invest in job placement and job training programs here in our community. Continuing our focus on jobs, the state legislature this year approved the Jobs Act of 2010. This measure will put people to work repairing and upgrading our local public schools to make them more energy efficient. Examples here in our community in the Kent School District include Kent Meridian High School could get all of their windows replaced with thermal energy efficient windows. At Neely O'Brien Elementary, the entire lighting system can be upgraded and replaced with energy efficient lights. In the Highline School District, we are going to upgrade the entire heating and cooling systems at Des Moines Elementary and right here on the Taiyi campus. To pay for the work, the state will borrow the money and pay it back using the money saved through the energy savings, as well as by extending the existing sales tax on bottled water. This measure will put nearly 30,000 people to work in construction jobs uh, that are badly needed right now in our economy and also is the right thing to do for our environment. Although the legislative session has concluded, I still invite you to email, call, or write with any questions, feedback, or concerns. Contact information will be on the screen at the end of this video. I'm also the only Dave Up the Grove listed in the Des Moines phone book. I'm also happy to get together and meet in person, whether it's at a coffee shop like this or at a place of your choosing. I'm only in Olympia for a couple months out of the year, 
when the legislature is in session. The rest of the time I'm back home here in the community dealing with the same problems and challenges as everybody else. It's a privilege and an honor to serve you.